This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Police seize ammo in Eastern Kingston. The Kingston Eastern Police yesterday seized several rounds of ammunition in two separate incidents in the parish. In the first incident, lawmen were carrying out an operation at a premises on Mountain View Avenue about 2 p.m. when five shotgun cartridges were seized. Another team conducted an operation simultaneously on Wareham Road in the parish during which 6.38 rounds of ammunition were seized. No one was arrested in any of the incidents, the police said. Police probing suspected suicide in St. Mary. The Arakabesa police are investigating a suspected case of suicide at Jacks River Crescent in Arakabesa, St. Mary, on Thursday, June 17. Dead is 60 year old Lyric Silvera of Crescent, Jacks River, and Bonnegate in the parish. The police said that residents found a Silvera hanging from a tree with a piece of rope tied around the neck about 6.30 a.m. Silvera allegedly texted his daughter earlier in the day and stated that he intended to take his life. Suspects held after fatal drive-by shooting in Linstead. Gunmen struck in the usual bustling Linstead area of St. Catherine on Thursday afternoon killing one man and injuring another. The deceased has been identified as Jermaine Walters of Linstead. The police reported that about 4 p.m., Walters was on Grove Road in Linstead when he was pounced upon by gunmen traveling in a motor car who opened fire hitting him. Another man who was also in the area was also shot and injured, the police indicated. The injured men were assisted to the hospital where Walters was pronounced dead. The other man was admitted for treatment. Shortly after the drive-by shooting, a motor car that is believed to have been the one that was used by the gunmen in the shooting incident was intercepted by law enforcers. Two men who were reportedly traveling in the vehicle were taken into custody for questioning. Their identities are being withheld pending further investigations by the police. Ammunition found at illegal party in Portmore the police yesterday seized several rounds of ammunition after responding to calls of an illegal party in Hamilton Gardens, Portmore, St. Catherine. The police said that about 9.52 p.m., officers responded to calls that a party was being held in the community. According to the police, the people dispersed on the arrival of the lawmen and the area was searched. A magazine and ammunition were found during the search, the police said. Search mission to be launched for missing taxi operator. The Hunts Bay Police with a team from the St. Thomas Police will be leading a search for taxi operator Philip Palmer, who has been missing since May 18. 45-year-old Palmer, also called Grabba, who is of an Olympic Way St. Andrew address, was last seen at home. He reportedly operated along the halfway tree to Papine and downtown to Duhaney Park routes in the corporate area. Earlier this month, his family offered a reward of $200,000 for any information leading to his return. As a mother, I just feel like somebody killed him because I am nervous in my stomach. I just feel like they killed him, were the words of the distraught mom who did not wish to have her name published as she spoke to the news yesterday. They say he was last seen at home at about 1 p.m wearing a white t-shirt and black pants. Anyone with information is asked to call the Olympic Gardens Police at 876-923-5468-119 or the nearest police station. Clarendon Health Official and MP deny Health Center will be closed. A health official and the elected representative for the area have both dismissed claims that the Summerfield Health Center will be closed after rumors to that effect saw residents attempting to lock the gate to the facility Friday morning. Staff turned up at the center shortly before 7 a.m. to find furious residents barricading the gate. Me here said them I go lock the health center. So me demonstrate because them can't lock it, said one woman who did not want to be identified by name. However, parish manager of the Clarendon Health Services 
Joseph Grant was befuddled by the protest. None of the arguments that the residents put forward is true, and so to hear that they are locking the gates is really out of context. Somebody instigating something that is unfounded, he told the news. There had been no mention of the facility being closed, he said, during Thursday's meeting with staff. We spoke to them because we understand that they are working in a challenging time, and so we encouraged them as to how they should operate proficiently and effectively in this pandemic, he added. With work being done on the Chapleton Hospital, patients from that facility are being rerouted to the Summerfield Health Center. According to Grant, for each shift, there are usually four doctors, on average, working alongside a family nurse practitioner. Member of Parliament for Clarendon North Central Robert Morgan was equally surprised at the protest and gave a similar account of the discussions during the staff meeting. I was a part of the meeting yesterday and I commended the staff for the hard work they were doing. I told them we know they are overworked and we are appreciative of the sacrifices they are making, he said. The MP explained that work on the Chapleton facility had been on a standstill for several months because of challenges with procurement, but it is expected that work will resume in short order. Bog Walk Gorge to be closed on Sunday The road through the Bog Walk Gorge in St. Catherine will be closed this Sunday, June 20, the National Works Agency is reporting. The closure is expected to take place between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. The corridor is now undergoing repairs valued at $18 million and is being closed by the NWA to facilitate some of the works. Manager Communication and Customer Services at the NWA, Stephen Shaw, says that the works to be undertaken on Sunday will involve the paving of the flatbridge and its approaches. No vehicular access can be allowed through the gorge at such time. Shaw says that the closure is expected to take place between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Motorists are therefore being urged to use an alternative route during the period of the closure. Persons may use the Highway 2000 North-South Toll Road, the Sligoville Main Road, or the corridor through Barry. Motorists are also being urged to obey the posted warning signs and instructions of flag persons. Vaccine rush forces closure of arena, blitz to continue at other sites. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continued its second dose vaccination blitz on Saturday, June 19 at 22 sites across nine parishes, but was forced to close the National Arena in Kingston because of overcrowding. Health Ministry in a release said the second doses of the COVID-19 vaccine manufactured by AstraZeneca were administered to persons 50 years and older who are due between Friday, June 18 and Sunday, June 20. The ministry in a release said there were, however, a few glitches, especially at the National Arena, where a number of persons outside of the slated 50 and over age group turned up at the facility. Dr. Christopher Tofton, Minister of Health and Wellness, spoke further of the development. From reports received from the sites across the island, the blitz operations ran efficiently for most sites, with some delays and other challenges at the National Arena primarily linked to persons who were not scheduled to be vaccinated, turning up at the site. Health Ministry said as a result of the development, where they reached full capacity at the National Arena, officials unfortunately had to announce the closure of the site. Our operations there will be suspended for Sunday, June 20, but other blitz sites across the island will remain open to the public by appointment, Dr. Tufton stated. Members of the public from Kingston and St. Andrew who are due their second dose on Sunday will be contacted by the ministry via text and telephone with their new appointment details in the coming week, the Ministry of Health and Wellness release stated. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.